Young adults' presence on the housing market has been largely predicted for years, but 2016 may be the year that they really make a move into the market in a really big way. In 2015, millennials represented nearly 2 billion sales, one third of home buyers. You know, they're expected to continue to be a major buying pool in 2016 with the majority of buyers between the ages of 25 and 35 years old, and they're expected to be first time home buyers. But two other generations also have a big presence in 2016, the Gen Xers and old baby boomers. So since all of these people are already homeowners, they're really playing a double role, boosting the market as both sellers and buyers. So don't miss out. Gen Xers, those born between 1965 and 1980, are due to take charge in the real estate market. They're in great shape to take advantage and they're the ones moving up in their careers into management. And so Gen Xers are in their prime earning years and entering them and thus able to relocate to better neighborhoods for their families and to live a good life. The older boomers are approaching or already in retirement and seeking to downsize. Some are going to be looking to lock in lower cost of living, but most are just looking for more luxury and amenities in a smaller place to live. Unlike their parents, baby boomers are less likely to hold on to the family home where they raise their kids. They're more willing to change their lifestyle and have some fun. These three generations are predicted to be equal participants in the housing market this year, so be prepared to understand their uniqueness and help them get what they're looking for. Now for minding your own business. We talk a lot about online marketing and social media. Today let's talk about offline marketing because it's huge. While online marketing is one of the most powerful ways to grow your business, a combination of the two are going to help you reach a much wider audience. So here's four of my recommendations. Number one, network at meetups. Charities and professional events, LinkedIn and Facebook both offer like-minded group meetups. Meetup.com is one of the world's most powerful networking platforms, bringing people together to discuss their shared interests. Do volunteer work for favorite charity. Whatever you get involved in, there are going to be people, and so reach out and be a part of it. Number two, update your printed material, brochures, door hangers, CMA presentations, all of these can be improved and made more current and more attractive. So brand your look and carry it all the way through all of your marketing. Number three, ask for testimonials. Write letters to your past clients and ask them for a written testimonial. If they're Yelpers, ask them to give you a review on Yelp. It's powerful. If you don't ask for it, you're definitely not going to get it or you probably are not going to get it and they won't think of it on their own most times. So number four, Offer your clients a housewarming party. I think this is an awesome idea. Once your clients get settled into their new home, offer to help them host a housewarming party and their friends and family are gonna be excited to come over, see their new house, and they're gonna give you the credit for it and referrals are critical to your business and they'll wanna give them to you. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. We're always here to help. Let us know if we can answer any of your rate or mortgage questions and have a great week.